What's up beautiful people, today we're going to be checking out RFK shares some secrets on US biolabs in Ukraine. Let's get to it. Now when you do bioweapons develop, every bioweapon needs a vaccine. So you develop them side by side because in 100% of the cases when you deploy a bioweapon, there's blowback. Your side also gets sick. So in order to deploy one offensively, you need a vaccine to, um, to counter it. So you need to vaccinate your team before you deploy it. So those two things are, are developed through a, a, a field of science called gain of function science, where you take infectious, where you take an infectious microbe and you amplify its infectivity, or you make it jump species so it may kill monkeys, now you make it kill humans and you adopt it that way and there's all kinds of methods but, and then you make it immune to antibiotics and to therapeutic drugs and to other therapies so it's actually the inverse of medicine for 2800 years since hippocrates doctors have been trying to figure out how to make microbes less infectious and less deadly and develop antibiotics and therapeutics to do that well this, the guys who are involved in this there's 36,000 what are called life scientists, but they're actually death scientists um, who are now employed full time in developing, you know, microbes that will can be used to kill people. Wait, the question would be, how did RFK know about this? How did he get the information or was it shared to him by people on his on his side? And he seems pretty confident, you know, he's not talking like he's speculating. He's speaking like you can sue me for this and I have evidence. You know, he's speaking with that kind of boldness. Hmm. Yeah, it's, people have been saying this for the longest time. I think, did Trump say it? There's somebody also that had mentioned it, maybe from the Republican side, but everybody was like, oh, it's a lie. They're just trying to win the election. Well, now we've heard it from the other side. Hmm. This is scary. Like, this is the height of people looking to win a war against other people like this is where greed has taken us to making bioweapons creating vaccines infecting people in the midst killing their own people while the test is ongoing yeah a lot is wrong with that a lot is wrong with that um, where did the love go good question right where did the love go because if there's love, like you, don't, you wouldn't be thinking about all these things. Everybody's making nuclear weapons, weapons everywhere. Who are you going to use these weapons on? No, what? Is, what that's the question. Where are you going to use these weapons on? As the same human, somebody like you? Yeah, no, it's crazy. It's just crazy. What are we fighting for at the end of the day? What What do we really want? What are we fighting for? Hmm. This is, this is scary. Yeah, it was easier when people said this was a rumor or gossip or, you know, when I was hearing this is this as a rumor, it just it was easier. I'm like, oh, maybe it's just a rumor. But now he's sitting comfortably there telling Tucker Carlson this. And I would assume before somebody who I think is contesting for the presidential election, right? For somebody in that caliber to provide this information, it means he's certain about it. Otherwise, he could be held accountable for falsely, for false information. So I'm, I'm sure he's certain about it. Let me know what you think. Feel free to share your thoughts. That one, huh. hmm. share your thoughts on that video. It's the end of this one. Um, let's talk in the comments section. Well, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace. I made this better